Hello, well, it's the Super Ivy, that's hashtag Elton. <laughs> hey guys, this is Super Ivy, the hashtag Hero, and today you're tuned into yet another whirlwind episode of Hero Tech How To's and App Reviews. Today I'll be going over my absolute favorite language learning app, Duolingo. Duolingo is a free and awesome language learning app that anybody can download on Android or iOS and on top of that you can also use it online. I always recommend this app to people who are interested in traveling a lot or learning another language. And let's face it, who doesn't want to learn another language? Me? I don't want to learn another language. Okay... Aside from that one random person, I'm pretty sure just about everybody could stand to learn another language and be able to communicate with more people. Being able to communicate with people everywhere is so accessible to us today and it'd be a shame to not actually take advantage of all of these great resources that we have. I'm someone who struggled with language learning courses my entire life. All through middle school, I used to fail Spanish repeatedly as if that was the point of the course and it really wasn't. And it's not so much that I was incapable of learning or didn't you know, just it was never going to work for me. I learned very well. I was actually really good in all my other classes, but it wasn't until I got a lot older and wiser when I realized that the problem wasn't necessarily the fact that it was a language. It was more the method in which I was learning. So for me, rewriting 30 verbs 40 times on one page doesn't really connect with my brain and it doesn't help me to use it in a practical way that works for me retaining the information. So I find that with Duolingo it's really good because not only is it fun, colorful, and interactive, it's really easy and it doesn't take much time or effort to do if you make it a daily habit. The key to language learning is practice. So if you get into a good habit and practice daily, you will get better. And if you start surrounding yourself with other people who speak the language, that's another great way to actually get that practice in. So with Duolingo, you get to use, you know, it's not just writing the words over and over again. You actually don't do that at all. It's more comprehension, it's hearing, it's speaking, it's all the ways in which you know, that add dimension to the way that you learn. So there's way more room for you to be able to get it versus feeling stuck and like you're incapable of learning because that's just, that's just not true. It's really fun, it's really interactive and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. So let's get into it. Woohoo, welcome to Duolingo guys. And the slogan for this app is learn a language for free forever. So it really doesn't get much better than that. When you first enter, this is the welcome screen and your main screen. There's an owl there that coaches you through how many points you get on a daily basis. When you first start out, you can choose among a plethora of languages. I'm learning German because I'm here in Berlin. These are the lessons. Each of the icons represent a lesson category, and each one is a game where you can read, listen, and speak. More lessons unlock as you go along, and they have categories for days. Each lesson takes about three to five minutes to complete, and when you've finished all the lessons in a given category, Duolingo creates a special exercise allowing you to strengthen your weakest words. And you can redo any lessons you've done in the past at any time. This is what a basic lesson looks like. Here we have some simple multiple choice questions with pictures and sounds. For me, Duolingo is best played with headphones on because I like to keep the sounds on. It keeps the game really fresh and fun. At the top, you can track your progress by the green bar. Once you complete a lesson, some celebratory horns go off and your OWL coach comes out to let you know your progress. I set my progress bar pretty high because there are times when I completely binge on this app and other times when I try out different resources. I've been listening to some audio trainings by Michelle Thomas for German and I've been finding that really, really helpful. But I'm totally getting back to my Duolingo routine of doing it every night before I go to sleep. Let's check out the bonus skills. This is my favorite feature. When you click the plus, it brings you to the Duolingo store. As you level up through the app, you begin to accrue points called Lingots. You get two or three Lingots every time you finish a skill. Lingots are how you afford to buy things in the store. You can buy anything from power-up to streak freezes. Although, I don't really think streak freezes support you in learning the language. 
and neither do the outfits for the owl, but what I really do like are the bonus skills, and they're pretty affordable. So far I've got the idioms package, and clearly I have yet to learn how to flirt in German. And at any time you can choose to take a mini exercise for practicing weak skills. If you are like me, you're probably wondering, how can learning a language be fun? Well, I gotta tell you, it actually is, and it's super addictive when you get into it, because the app kind of tricks you into thinking you're just playing a game rather than learning. But yeah, in your profile, you can share your progress, and in settings, you can add a completely new language course. And the cool thing is, when you start a course, you have the option to start out as a beginner or take a placement test to find out your level. So this is essentially the app. All in all, this app is really comprehensive. You have the flexibility to learn anytime, anywhere. You can track your stats, it's addictive, it's really pleasant and likable, super easy and free forever. I'd say the only real con is that you can't pick and choose which levels or categories you wanna do. I've gone through about 20 levels, literally weeks, without learning numbers, which is totally different than how you learn in traditional school, but it's probably done for a reason. Duolingo wins awards all the time, so I'm gonna just go with it's done for a reason. Something to look out for with this app is that the developers are constantly changing it to make it better. So try not to get too attached to the way things are when you first get in, because that could very well change. I remember when they had hearts on the side and different pictures and characters than they do now. But at its core, it remains the same, and it's an absolutely excellent resource for learning. Will you be learning a language with Duolingo? Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like some support on creating easy daily habits, I'll leave a link to my blog post in the description box. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe for future episodes. This has been Super Ivy the Hashtag Hero and an episode of Hero Tech Hero out.